The president can be unable to fill his or her position for a number of reasons. He or she could die, resign, be removed from office, or become disabled to a point that renders him or her unable to fulfill the duties of the office. In this event, a successor will take up the responsibilities of president and lead the nation. The line of succession was established by the Presidential Succession Act of 1947, and although it has undergone slight revisions, the main successors remain the same. In the event that the president cannot serve, the vice president is next in line, followed by the Speaker of the House and the President pro tempore.